good morning i am devasena in this lecture we are going to discuss about wlan gprs integration with tight coupling system configuration wlan gprs integration with tight coupling system configuration is shown in this figure in this figure gif represents gprs interworking function CG represents charging gateway, HLR represents home location register, AUC represents authentication center, SGSN represents serving GPRS support node, GGSN represents gateway GPRS support node, BSS represents basic service set. A WLAN is deployed with one or more of the shelf access points which are connected by means of a distribution system the distribution system is lan compliant with ieee 802.3 here is a representation of a distribution system and here we are having access point the wlan is deployed in an infrastructure configuration that is access points behave like base stations and the mobiles exchange data only with access points the service area of an access point is called a basic service set here is the representation of basic service set each wlan is typically composed of many basic service sets which all together form an extended service set that is ess the wlan network is deployed as an alternative ran and connects to the gprs code network here is a representation of gprs code network through the standard gb interface from the core network point of view the wlan is considered as other gprs routing areas in the system the gprs core network does not identify the difference between an RA with the WLAN radio technology and one with GPRS radio technology. The key functional element in the system is the GPRS interworking function. Here is a representation of GPRS interworking function, which is connected to a distribution system and to an SGSN via the standard GB interface the main function of the gaf is to provide a standardized interface to the gprs core network and to virtually hide the wlan particularities the gaf is the function that makes the sgsn that is serving gprs support node consider the wlan a typical routing area tight coupling over gb interface here reference diagram is shown here the existing gprs protocols in mobile are fully reused the llc sub network dependent convergence protocol that is sndcd gprs mobility management is gmm and the session management are used in both the standard GPRS cell and the WLAN area. Therefore, the WLAN merely provides a new radio transport for these protocols. When a mobile station is outside the WLAN area, its WLAN interface is in passive scan mode. That is, it scans a specific frequency band and searches for a background signal. When a Bacon is received, the service set identifier, that is SSID, is checked and compared against a pre-configured SSID. The SSID serves as a WLAN identifier and can help mobiles attach to the correct WLAN. For example, an operator could use a unique SSID and request that it is subscribers configure the mobiles to consider only this SSID is valid. 
when a mobile station detects a valid SSID, it performs the typical authentication and association procedures. It then enables its WLAN interface and further signaling is carried over this interface. Mobile stations are dual mode, that is, they support both GPRS and WLAN access in a seamless fashion. System mobility is achieved by means of the routing area update procedure, which is the core mobility management procedure in GPRS. Typically, when a mobile enters the WLAN area, an RAU procedure takes place and the subsequent GPRS signaling and the user data transmission are carried over the WLAN interface. Similarly, when the mobile exits a WLAN area, another RAU procedure takes place and the GPRS interface is enabled and used to carry further data and the signaling traffic. From the core network point of view, handoff between WLAN and the GPRS is considered handoff between two individual cells. Mobility stations in the WLAN send uplink GPRS traffic to the MAC address of GAEF. Similarly, downlink GPRS traffic is sent from the GEF to the MAC addresses of the mobile stations. The MS has two radio subsystems one for GPRS access and another for WLAN access. The WLAN adaptation function WAF identifies when the WLAN radio subsystem is enabled, that is, when the mobile system associates with a valid access point and informs the LLC layer, which subsequently redirects signaling and data traffic to the WLAN. Note that all the standard GPRS protocols operating on the top of the LLC, that is SNDCP, GMM, is a function as usual and do not identify which radio system is used. WAF is a key component in the mobile station. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. If you like this lecture means kindly share this video to your friends. For further updates kindly subscribe my channel. Thank you.